Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter. A Django application running on an AWS instance suddenly throwing a 502 bad gateway error. Our viewer has been using Gunicorn and Nginx for over a year without any problems, but recently they found themselves facing a connection refused error in the Nginx logs. Let's dive into the details and see if we can uncover the mystery behind this error. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. The first step in understanding the 502 bad gateway error is to check the Nginx error logs. The error message indicates that Nginx is unable to connect to the Gunnicorn socket. This error typically occurs when the Gunnicorn server is not running or has crashed. To verify if Gunnicorn is active, you can check the status of the Gunnicorn service. If Gunnicorn is not running, you can start it using the following command. This will ensure that your application is up and running again. Another common reason for this error is a misconfiguration in your Nginx or Gunnicorn settings. Ensure that the socket path in your Nginx configuration matches the one specified in your Gunnicorn configuration. Finally, if you have made any changes to your application or server, remember to restart both Nginx and Gunnicorn to apply those changes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the connection refused error in Django with Gunicorn and Nginx, try removing HT from the proxy pass in your Nginx configuration. Gunicorn listens on a Unix socket so Nginx should forward traffic to that socket instead of using a TCP socket. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing a connection refused error with Django, Gunnicorn, and Nginx, it might be due to the service not being enabled. A simple fix is to run a command to enable the Gunnicorn service. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers. What? <laughs>